Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about exponential regression and how we can use the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator to figure out the equation that best fits our set of data. So in this video here is our data set that we're going to look at. We've got X values 1 through 7 and then Y values 12, 16, 25, 36, 50, 67, and 96. So I'm going to pull the calculator on the screen right now. Uh, so as you can see we're working with our TI-84 Plus CE. So I'm going to go ahead and plot these data points. So to do that, we're going to hit the button that says stat. And it's already on edit, so let's hit enter. And now in L1, we're going to type our x values. So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. All right, 1 through 7. And I'm going to use the right arrow to go over to L2. These are my y values. So now I have 12, 16, 25, 36, 50, 67, and lastly, 96. Okay, now I hit enter. Now from here, I hit graph and we don't see anything. So there's a couple things that we need to make sure of on our calculator to make sure we can see our scatter plot. Okay, so first of all, let's go to y equals, and up here where it says plot one, this needs to be highlighted. So we go up to it, we hit enter and we hit graph and we still don't see anything. So we also need to adjust our window to make sure that our data points fit within the window that we see. So let's go to window. Now if we remember our data points that are on the screen, for x min and x max, we can change x min to zero because our lowest x value is just one. And let's just leave x max at 10 because we need to at least see one through seven. Now let's go down to y min. So let's change this to zero. Uh, we could do 10 or something like that because the lowest y value we need to see is 12. So let's just leave it at zero. Now for y max, we need to see at least to 96. So let's just change this to 110 just to give us a little bit of room past that. So now we should be good. We hit graph and we see our scatter plot. So we can tell it is exponential uh, because of our curve that we see. And so now that is step one, we have to graph that. And now how do we find exponential regression or our equation, right? So remember our equation should look like y equals a times b to the x power, right? And so let's move that over a little bit to right there. Okay, and so now on our calculator, we're gonna hit stat again. So we're, we see our scatter plot, we're gonna hit stat. Now we're gonna go over here to calc. So calculate, and now we just wanna find where it says exponential regression okay so we go down here and that would be option number 10 looks like a zero but but option uh, number 10 there so we hit enter and now we just want x to make sure it's l1 because that's where we typed our x values y list needs to be l2 that's where we typed our y values now we just go down here to calculate we hit enter and it's going to give us everything we need okay so now we can say our equation would be y equals 8.46, 8.46 times 1.42 to the x power. Okay, so now once we have that, we could now go back into y equals and we could actually graph this so that we could see our line of best fit or our curve of best fit go through our points. Okay, so we had 8.46 in parentheses 1.42 and to the x power. Okay, so we hit graph and it looks great, right? So we know we did a good job. Okay. And that's how you can find exponential regression on the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator.